Want to deploy your SvelteKit project to Netlify? No problem, it's super easy. Hello, hello YouTube, my name is Braden Gerard, and today we're gonna to take a look at how you can use adapters in SvelteKit to deploy your project to Netlify with ease. Let's jump into the code and take a look. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is make a directory. We're gonna call that SvelteKit-Netlify, and then we're gonna change into that directory, and in that directory we're going to do an npm init, Svelte, at next and that will just install the default svelte kit demo app so we'll say yes uh, no typescript no es lint no prettier and now that project is installed um, so now all we have to do is change directory uh, or sorry we're already in there so now all i have to do is do an npm install which will install that project for us uh, and then once or install the node modules for that project and once those are installed we can have to install one last thing um, and that is the uh, SvelteKit Netlify adapter. Uh, that's gonna do all the magic for us when we deploy to Netlify. So in order to install that, we do npm install dash D. So it goes to our dev dependencies. And we're gonna say at svelte.js forward slash adapter dash Netlify at next. Okay, um, now we will open up uh, we'll, we'll run the project first just to see what we're working with here. npm run dev dash 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 open. Okay, and there is our default Svelte kit project. Okay, we have a little counter, we have an about page, and we have our to-dos. Uh, we can delete our to-dos, and we can add new to-dos. And these, this is using Svelte kit server-side routes uh, to save these in a JSON file. Okay, so when we deploy, we'll still have this functionality because Netlify will use its Netlify functions uh, with our uh, Netlify adapter to deploy our server-side stuff to the functions and our client-side stuff just to Netlify's static hosting. Um, so let's open up the project. There are two files that we have to modify. So first we have to modify the Svelte config to add the adapter. And my Visual Studio does not want to open. Hold on. Quit and reopen Visual Studio code. Thank you. Okay. Um, so first we have to open uh, the svelte.config.js like I was saying. And in here, we need to import the adapter that we just installed to our dev dependencies. So if we do import uh, adapter from svelte at svelte forward slash adapter Netlify. And then in our kit config, we have to add our adapter. And we're just gonna add the adapter that we just imported with no configuration. Uh, and that's all you have to do for the config side, just telling Netlify, or sorry, just telling SvelteKit to use the Netlify adapter. Uh, save that. And then we're gonna also go over here and create a new file. Uh, and that's gonna be our Netlify.toml. And that's just a file for Netlify to read when we deploy it to Netlify so they know how to build the site. Um, so we're gonna say for the build, what we want you to do is we want you to do the command that is equal to npm run build. Uh, once you've built it, we want you to publish the build directory. So that's build forward slash by default with the Netlify adapter. Uh, and then we want you to also publish the functions, so our server side routes, uh, from the functions forward slash folder, which again is the default location uh, with the Netlify adapter. We save that, um, and that's all we have to do. Now, one thing you're gonna want to make sure of is that in your git ignore, you have uh, build and functions ignored so that you're not committing those all the time to your repository. Because um, we only need them when they get built on, the Netlify, on Netlify's uh, servers. Uh, so that's good. They're already there by default in this project. Um, so we're good to go. So now we can go over and we can commit this to git. Um, so we're going to come here. We're going to do a git init. Git add. Git commit. Initial commit. And now I've committed it locally. And now we're going to push it up to GitHub. So we'll do a git remote add origin. Now I've already created this GitHub repository, so I'm just going to tell my local Git here to use it. Um, Braden Gerard forward slash Netlify dash svelte kit dot 
git. And then we're going to say git branch dash m main and git push dash u origin main. So that'll push it up to the main branch of the GitHub repository that I created. Now that we have it on GitHub, we can go over here and we can go to uh, Netlify. And in your Netlify dashboard, you're going to click new site from Git. You're going to deploy it from GitHub, or you can also use GitLab or Bitbucket. Um, and then it's going to authorize with GitHub. Uh, and now that I'm authorized, I can select my repository. So Netlify, Netlify Svelte Kit, there it is. Uh, and we will deploy the site. All your settings are going to be set already because we set up that uh, netlify.toml file. So all you have to do is hit deploy site. And then you give this about 30 seconds for Netlify to install and build and, and then publish your site. And if you want to watch the logs, you can click here and see what's going on. But right now it's setting up node and installing our node modules. And then once it's installed the node modules, it's going to do the build. So it's building now. And then once it builds our site, it'll deploy both that build and functions directory out to Netlify. So there we go, build complete, site is live. So if we go back up and we go back here, we see that they've set up this naughty BASI URL as a template or as a, as a development URL. And if I open that up, uh, it's secured over SSL. We have our site deployed here, our counter is working. We can go to our about page, great. We can even go to our to-dos and we can add to-dos to our to-do list. And then if I want to remove a to-do, I can click and remove the to-do. So that's all it takes to deploy to Netlify. Thanks for sticking around for another one of my YouTube tutorial videos. Today we looked at how you can use SvelteKit adapters to easily deploy your project. If you enjoyed this content, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. And if you want to check out more of my videos, subscribe to my channel because I'll be releasing tons of SvelteKit content in the future, as well as other coding tutorial videos. Thanks, have a great day.